Hello guys, Vizarish here bringing you another Total War Warhammer replay with commentary. For today's battle we have the forces of Empire who are being led by Volkmar the Grim. Uh, they're in the distance. The usual stuff, especially against uh, Elven factions, um, High Elves, Dark Elves in pr uh, particular. And we have a, we have a good uh, match for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So, uh, let's just jump into the army. Uh, armies here and see uh, which units we've decided to bring here for my front line. Uh, I have uh, u three units of swordsmen, uh, Sigmar Sons as well, Regiment of Renown. We have two spear spearmen with shield, two spearmen uh, without. Uh, we have two Empire Knights, uh, great at holding uh, units in place and supporting your um, key um, units. Two Pistoliers, uh, another awesome unit, and uh, the only units that are not awesome in the Empire faction are the State Troops. They're, they're good, uh, don't get me wrong, but they're not good against Dark Elves at least. Uh, for today, I decided to bring two Demigriff Knights, uh, the non-Halbert variants, because these guys have shields and better stats, and with a bit of support um, from Warrior Priest, they're gonna uh, do really well. For my caster, I have a low, um, caster of life with uh, earth blood and regrowth, the only th things I could bring. And I think that's it. Did I miss anything? Uh, I just haven't talked about uh, Walkmire's uh, kit here. We have the usual stuff, Grand Soulfire, Grand Shield of Fate, G uh, Grand Hammer of Sigmar, Banishment, and uh, Jade Griffin. So. Uh, that's it for my army for my opponent here. He has a really interesting army as well uh, I think it's a 90 unit stack if I'm not mistaken uh, so um, Yeah, you'll see how it performs uh, a Bit of spoiler it does really good. So for the front line We have three units of bleak swords two units of dread spears in the flank five units of dark shards uh, really strong two black Hawk courses as well in the secondary line we have two Coban Knights, one in left flank, the other one is uh, on right, two Feral Manticores, and two Dark Riders with shield. So, uh, the mobility range units are missing, but we have a lot of uh, stationary ones who have stronger weapon strength, I mean missile strength. Uh, the Supreme Sorcerers on top of the Pegasus really threw me off guard. I thought this, is, this was Morati, and like always, I assume that she has the soul sealer and yeah, the opponent usually brings her. So I didn't even look uh, until she started casting her uh, fire spells. But yeah, so uh, that's it for the army introductions. Let's just jump into the game and see how we perform. So um, we all know that um, Dark Elf Infantry uh, does really well. It's one of the top three. Uh, best infantry um, in the game low tier. I mean uh, the bleak swords uh, shine really well uh, in a lot of matchups uh, Dread spears are fine as well and five units of dark shards means if my uh, Walkmar doesn't pay attention uh, and I just leave it in the uh, blobs uh, He's gonna get uh, destroyed here. So burning head going down at this part I was really surprised that my opponent didn't bring Morati and uh, yeah, so uh, I was kind of relieved uh, and um, I, I realized that I have to be uh, on top of my game and don't get uh, sloppy here because yeah it's an uh, uncharted territory here. So I ordered these guys to charge Dark Riders or I'm not sure Cold One. That's why these guys are not charging and that's really bad. It means these guys are gonna act as a holding line and the Cold One Knights are gonna do really well here. One of the Manticores. Try to go for Walkmar, but Pistoliers, ever vigilant, were able to make it rampage, and now uh, it charges down, and my uh, Empire Knights are here to hold them in place uh, and uh, try to deal with them here. The other Cold One Knights, unfortunately, um, I'm not sure what happened. The Dark Riders probably hold them in place while the Cold One Knights charge, but uh, they're not without any supports. We have some Spearmen here as well. I used Banishment on one of the Dark Shards, uh, doing really uh, great here. Another Burning Head, probably gonna destroy this uh, Spearman unit, and that's not good. Uh, I don't have any 
um, good infantry that uh, can hold and they're under a lot of pressure uh, from these dark shard uh, shots here but on the right flank I was able to use the a shield of faith and uh, a healing spell so this guy didn't take too much damage and we were able to win the right flank uh, Wokmar, uh, desperate, I had to get into these dark shards, they were doing too much so I just went in, I used the grand soul fire and I went for the uh, dark shards on the right here, uh, left of my army but the <laughs> right of the screen and uh, yeah I, I'm trying to just stop them from shooting they're uh, causing a lot of problems uh, the two on the left the two dark shadows uh, on the left are getting charged by demigriff knights uh, which is nice I'm bringing Walkmore as well to get some healing and buff here uh, jade wizard uh, spells are on cooldown but I uh, I need them desperately here these guys are taking a lot of damage but uh, a mistake from my opponent I think uh, he brought uh, his uh, her I mean, his Supreme Sorcerer down, uh, and that means uh, she's gonna get destroyed, especially with these many buffs on uh, these knights. And I think I used the, uh, um, I overcasted uh, Earth Blood as well, so these guys are gonna get some heals. Uh, some Dark Rider Riders are coming to hold these guys in place while the uh, dark shards do the damage these guys are the damage dealers here but let's take a, a overlook of the battlefield um, not many infantry remaining on the empire side uh, there are a lot of dark elves though we have some dark shards here some dread spears here and yeah as i said i was desperate to stop these dark shards from tearing apart uh, everything <laughs> that i have here uh, the only units that uh, are uh, important here are my knights and Wolfmar here uh, so I really need to be careful to not lose them needlessly so at this part I ordered my knights to go to the uh, right side and I used the banishment on top of the uh, warrior priest doing a lot of damage there and causing a chain route and at this part look at this these guys have a lot of HP they still have some balance of power there but they they got uh, terror routed which is nice or I don't know they chain routed uh, which is uh, good for me <laughs> and uh, yeah so uh, all of the dark ops now running away I'm sending uh, all of my units to chase them even uh, warrior priest is uh, chasing one uh, I ordered um, jade wizard to chase the other one uh, one unit of Manticore uh, trying to fight uh, Warrior Priest. I think he can win it, but I'm bringing some support. My opponent uh, sees this, runs away. Uh, some Dread Spears remaining here. Uh, some Empire Knights. I have to be careful uh, not to get caught. I think I'm going to move them in a minute there. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a really good banishment, I guess. That caused a lot of uh, chain routing there. And at this part, I'm just going to change them with my Demigriff Knights. None of these guys can turn around and fight, especially if they're running away. Uh, turning around uh, is not probably going to do much. So the only unit that uh, is kind of healthy, but um, it, in a late stage of, of the battle, if you haven't been able to kill Walkmore, this is what's going to happen. Full HP. Let's see the Grand Soulfire here. Yeah, they lost around uh, one and a half uh, K HP there and that's it that's gonna break the opponent's army so really fun battle here uh, the the thing that usually happens against the Dark Elves as Empire is that your front line is always gonna uh, buckle so uh, yeah I, I've seen some players bring uh, Walkmar and um, Fire Wizard which works uh, if you if you're not gonna bring uh, Demigriff Knights you can bring um, Knights of the Blazing Sun in their set and uh, yeah you, you have to just clean the infantry as soon as possible and imagine me having burning head against these uh, dark shots I could have maybe surprised my opponent but killing two of them with a burning head Walkman could have used his uh, grand soul fire on the other one charge uh, charged in against the other and use a banishment uh, too so yeah but uh, when you bring demigriff knights especially um, the shields come in clutch i think 20 uh, 30 percent of the uh, range attack didn't uh, went through so that's a good sign um the both of the uh, shields of fate uh, were really clutch on these really expensive units and even on walkmar i think i at some 
part I just used it for himself because he was getting shot by all of these <coughs> dark shots excuse me guys so yeah let's just um, see the values here uh, nearly 2200 not that bad um, still had some HP uh, he went through all of his region as well I think I used the regrowth as well but yeah what can you do uh, you usually bring the warrior priest for support but I'm kind of surprised how uh, how um, low his damage value is but uh, it doesn't matter the infantry probably got wrecked uh, just one of them paid for themselves the knights uh, did fine I mean they just act as a wall there uh, both of the demigriff knights paid for themselves happy to see that uh, 1600 uh, and nearly 1900 uh, on this one so really great the pistoliers also uh, were crucial for bringing down the feral manticore and stopping them uh, for uh, targeting my important units source uh, supreme sorcerer uh, nothing special there but most of the dark elf units uh, did well especially dread spears these guys as i said are really good against uh, state troops it used to be the other way around but right now they're really good all of the dark shards though they pay for themselves <laughs> which is interesting uh the dark riders were just um not used that well uh, i mean they were fighting knights and spears and uh demigriff knights so um yeah, understandable this cold one knight did one fine this one did okay as well so yeah really fun battle um really decent army for my opponent and i think my uh, army was good as well uh, demigriff knights um without halberds um, are the way to go in my opinion against dark elves i mean you can bring them against high elves as well and even um, wood elves but um, against wood elves they can get focused down and against uh, high elves i don't know maybe you need the uh, anti-large against uh, dragons and stuff but overall i think against dark, dark elves these guys are more favored than their um, other counterparts so uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i would really appreciate it if you guys consider leaving a like and subscribing it would really help me and my channel grow i upload videos daily so stay tuned for that as well i also have a discord server if you guys want to chat hang out send me bills to try out uh, or um, send me replays to cast you can find the link in the description of this video so that's it guys uh hope to see you guys soon bye